All right, we're back. HP Inc. currently pacing for its worst day in more than seven years. After reporting weak quarterly revenue and guidance, today Bank of America hitting the sell button and doing it twice. They downgrade it to an underperform. That's after having a buy. Double downgrade. They've had that since early 2016. We've made it our call of the day. What do you guys want to make of this? Well, HPQ. It's a company that's got some margin pressure on it. They talked about cash flows. That was part of the, what the, the report was on why they didn't like it. They see some headwinds out there. I mean, one of the things that I was just talking about was, hey, if you've got great cash flows, you've got a good fundamental story. Well, the fundamental story here is deceleration and the fact that the cash flows are actually going to be an issue in a, with a headwind, Scott. I don't think you need to jump into this name, even, even on this big, sharp move to the downside. Uh, that that was agree. echoed by yeah. Tony Sakanagi within the last hour. Called it a show-me story now uh, for investors. Plain old, need to wait. 100 percent. See how it all and, shakes and listen, out. When a stock goes, goes down 70 percent, uh, I think there's validity in when you see a move like that, that, that maybe it's time to go to the sidelines. I also think there's European weakness that's built in here that's not going to be reversed anytime soon. So it was about supply growth. It was about the printer story. Um, and, and they just have not seen the expectations that the street was pricing this stock at in the last six months. So, so here you have a major, you know, economic expansion over 10 years. And you've been waiting on this company for business to grow, continue to invest in technology. They're the leader in the PC in the print space. It hasn't happened. It's not going to happen because the dynamics are changing. It's more mobile. It's more iPads and things like that. So these legacy businesses are going to continue to be tough businesses to get any pricing on. I just think if you want to be in technology, you can be elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, they have two macro challenges that are hitting them at the same time. One, people are excited about the high margin printing business. That is now increasingly going more online, so you're getting hit on that side. Then you're also being hit by the non-OEM manufacturers who are increasingly doing replacement cartridges much cheaper levels than right. the premium cartridges that HP is producing. So to me, I agree. It's a show-me story. I think it's not there's sexier places in tech to be right now. It, it's, um, I mean, you take a look at the commentary on the conference call today from the CEO. It does not in any way suggest a, a fast turnaround. Uh, quote, we need new weapons to fight on our new battlefield. CEO said, we can't just bring a musket to a drone fight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when the CEO <laughs> of the company terrible. says that, yeah. that gives you no great feeling as an investor to say, hey, even though the stock's down 17 percent, I want to jump in. Right. Because it, it says to me the fundamentals well, are, are such in question at what this, is this very moment what is, what is this? that it's going to take a long time to turn Tr the ship. What is this? What is this business again? What? It no, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. It's from They're not selling the enterprise not. business sales. It's PCs, just printing. And printers. Because the software is separated. PCs, right. of course. Yeah. PCs. PCs? Right. No, I know. What? No. <laughs> How much time did we just devote to this today? <laughs> Look, it, it does. Who's planning this show? It does have a $30 billion. It has a $30 billion market cap. So obviously, you believe it shouldn't, shouldn't be there. But we're saying it's down 70%. This takes it right back to the Christmas Eve low. Right. And for some reason, and I said before the last six months, I'm incorrect, the first six months of 2018, the street loved this stock for whatever the reason might be. It was going to be a technology turnaround story. But it's right back to the Christmas Eve low once again. And obviously breaking below there is ominous. So what it's, it's, that, it's a special what situation what is, at best. What he's saying is we've got to spend a lot more in R&D and we've got to make some growth acquisitions. Yeah. Like yeah. IBM did with Red Hat, which is not really an acquisition. It's just giving them a lot of money and letting them go on their way and hope to cross-sell.